Welcome back to my channel by lectures. Today here I will explain you about page SGS page its principle and the function of the chemicals that are used in SGS page. What is electrophoresis I have already explained in my previous lecture. Here I will explain you page in SGS page only. Page is used to separate the DNA of smaller size RNA and protein. Less than 75 base pairs of DNA is separated on page. Two types of techniques are used here. First is non-denaturing page for the DNA and the denaturing page for the DNA. In non-denaturing page, no denaturation of the DNA is uh, here. And in denaturing page, urea is used to denature the DNA and it converts double standard DNA into single standard DNA. It is used where length difference as small as a single nucleotide can be separated with denaturing page using urea. RNA is separated on the basis of their secondary structure and protein is separated with different techniques. First is native page where conformation of the protein is not changed. So they will separate on the basis of their size and charge and one dimensional page that is also called as SGS page. Here I will explain you it is uh, protein separated on the basis of their molecular weight and 2D page where two dimensions are used. Uh, with the uh, isoelectric point first is separated on the basis of their isoelectric point and later they will separate on the basis of their molecular weight. What is isoelectric point of proteins and how to calculate it I have already told in my previous lecture and its link is given in the description box. Now come to the topic that is SDS page that is sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. SDS is a, an ionic detergent and it breaks the non-covalent bond between the proteins. So protein is linearized and the disulfide bonds between the protein strands it is bro broken by the reducing agent like beta mercaptoethanol or DTT that is di dithiotretol. It is reducing agent so it will break the disulfide bonds and convert into sulfhydryl bonds, sulfhydryl groups and it linearizes the protein now. SDS will mask all over the protein with the negative charges. So there is no conformation of the protein and all the proteins are masked with the negative charges. So protein will separate on the basis of their molecular weight now. Now I will tell you about the polymerization step. For the polymerization acrylamide, bisacrylamide, ammonium persulfate and tamid are used. Acrylamide is a monomer that is highly neurotoxic so always take care while handling it. Bisacrylamide is a cross linking agent that cross links between acrylamide. Ammonium persulfate is the free radical producer that polymerizes acrylamide to bisacrylamide and tamid is a catalyst that is tetraethylmethylene diamine. It catalyzes the reaction for the production of uh, free radicals. Whenever you add tamid in your, uh, in your reaction mixture, so immediately pour your solution between the gel plates. As soon as you will add tamid, polymerization starts. A ratio from acrylamide to bisacrylamide is chosen according to the size of protein that you have to separate. 19 raised to 1 ratio of acrylamide to bisacrylamide are used for separation of small peptides because it gives 5% cross-linking. 29 raised to 1 acrylamide to bisacrylamide normally used in the laboratory it is it uh, separates normal sized protein and gives 3.3% cross-linking. 37.5 to 1 ratio of uh, acrylamide to bisacrylamide is used for separation of high molecular weight protein because it gives 2.7% cross-linking. In general the laboratory we make 30% stock solution for the use. Now I will come to the principle of SDS page. It is also called as the Lamley discontinuous method because Lamley was the scientist who used it first and it is called discontinuous method because two types of gel concentration is used for the separation of protein. Upper one is called stacking gel and the lower one is called resolving gel or running gel. Stacking gel is having pH 6.8 and it uses lower concentration of acrylamide because its function is to stack the protein on one level. 
and the bottom one is called resolving gel whose pH is 8.8 and it uses higher concentration of acrylamide because its function is to separate the protein on the basis of their molecular weight. Protein sample is boiled with HDS and 2 beta mercaptoethanol for 5 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius. It degrades its uh, disulfide bonds and non-covalent non bonds. It linearizes the protein and SDS mask all over the protein with negative charges. So it will move towards the anode now. Bromophenol blue gives blue color so you can see your protein run on the gel. And glycerol will give weight to or uh, density to your protein sample so your protein sample will settle down in the well. Here running buffer is used to trace glycine SDS whose pH is 8.3. Glycine is used to maintain the pH only. No acid or base is used here to maintain the pH because it can handle with your protein separation. SDS is used in the running buffer because it keeps the protein to linearize. Protein will not clump together. Glycine is used here because its pKa value is 9.6 and its pi value is 6.06 .06. when glycine in the running buffer at 8.3 forms glycinate ion when electric field is applied glycinate ion hit the ph 6.8 in the stacking gel glycinate ion will become zutter ion now because its ph is near to pi value it loses its negative charges here so they move very slowly in the stacking gel because its pH is near to pi value and on the contrary chloride ion uh, from tris acl in the gel move at faster rate because they carry negative charges chloride ion called here leading ions because they move faster and glycine zutter ion called trailing ion because they move slowest in this gel in the stacking gel and it will create a narrow steep voltage gradient where protein will start stacking protein will start stacking here or concentration at concentrating at one level as glycine glycine and chloride ion will enter in the resolution resolving gel its pH is 8.8 .8 again and glycine zwitter ion will again convert into glycinate ion which is having negative charges so it will move faster towards anode and it will move faster rate than protein so protein will be behind at the resolving in the resolving gel and glycinate ion will move at the faster rate there will be no voltage gradient here and protein will start separating on the basis of their molecular weight after the separation of the protein on the basis of their molecular weight gel is taken out very carefully and it is very necessary to fix the bands fixation of the bands means to precipitate or immobilize the bands so they will not diffuse from the gel fixation is used with the 50 percent methanol and 10 percent acetic acid methanol removes the sds because if sds is bound with the protein so it will not bind with commissive blue dye it denatures the protein so hydrophobic amino acids clump together that precipitates or immobilizes that is fixation and acetic acid gives the acidic environment environment in to the protein so all protein will go below their pi value and all are positively charged now so they will be easily bind with commissive blue dye because commissive blue dye is negatively charged after dyeing with uh, with the commissive blue dye de-staining to see your bands de here for de-staining 5% methanol and 7% acetic acid is used acetic acid in the solution will fix the bands and methanol will remove the unbound dye from the gel this is the apparatus for sts page here you can see the protein bands that are running in the gel and buffer it is filled with the buffer here i am always talking about the kilo dalton or the molecular weight of the protein 
molecular weight of the protein is measured in kilodalton kilodalton is the measure of molecular weight one dalton is the mass of hydrogen atom so a kilodalton is the thousand hydrogen atoms here my explain here i hope that i explained well if you liked my explanation please subscribe and share my channel thank you